super hipster update and today we're going to be taking a look at the vapid blade talking about some specifics of the car some time trials what it's awesome for which i'll spoil it right now is drag racing all the cool options you can put on it in Los Santos Customs, and on top of that, some cool trivia about the car. So make sure to stay tuned for the full video to learn a bunch about the car and become a master of the Vapid Blade. And you can also check out the description down below for a link to a playlist with all of my other GTA 5 Hipster Update car guides. Now the Vapid Blade was originally from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas where it was classified as a lowrider, but in GTA 5 it's actually classified as a muscle car. It can only hold two people, the driver and the passenger, but like I mentioned, this car is a throwback. It was originally seen in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It's manufactured by Vapid and can be bought online at the Southern San Andreas Super Auto website for $160,000, or if you're in single player, you can find it in your garage. Now, another car I definitely recommend taking into Los Santos Customs, the Hipster Update is awesome for all these non-supercars. It's really cool, and there's so many new cars. They're not all the same sounding, the same looking, and of course, they all have some unique options. Now, what's cool about this car is it's amazing for drag racing. I'll show it on screen right now. This car doesn't have a, too quickly of a top speed, but it can very quickly accelerate super quickly, especially with the turbo tuning, and get going really fast, and uh, leads me to believe it's drag racing. There's a few customization options for it that also involve drag racing, and also the way the cars tend to sag towards the back. Definitely some great acceleration on this thing though, and it's an amazing car. Now when driving into Los Santos customers, a bunch of cool options you should definitely check out. The first option being some custom bumpers. You can uh, actually head over to your bumper section and add some cool bumpers such as the de-chromed front bumper, and you can do the same in the back with the de-chromed rear bumper. Voice crack right there? I don't know what happened. Either way, you can do some engine upgrades too, definitely get this car going fast, and also add the chrome tip exhaust to make it super sly from the back. On top of that, you can mess with your grill and add the sports grill. Only one option though for grill, which is a little bit disappointing. There could be some cool options for the grill. Also for the hood, it's where it gets really cool. You can add the carbon hood, the triple intake bug catcher hood, the single intake bug catcher hood, and my favorite, the gasser hood, which looks kind of cool. It's all like squirting up, almost like flowers coming out of the hood. I don't know. Either way, you can also add around the new jazz horns, jazz, jazz, jazz. It's kind of cool, there's a new jazz horn that actually goes, uh, the horn goes faster as you drive faster, which is pretty cool. That's the bottom jazz horn. Now for colorization of this car, the personal favorite of mine happened to be this kind of like gasoline green looking color with a yellow stripe on the side. Make sure to leave your favorite customization options for the colors and this car down in the comments section down below. As for other options, you can add a nice little roll cage on the car, looking yellow and sweet with this customization right here, and also a mid-level spoiler or a drag wing. Also hinting this is for drag racing, you can lower the suspension if you want to, but if you look at the car from the side, the front is always going to be up more as you can see right here, and that's really about it, you can upgrade your transmission, you can add turbo tuning, but that's really about it, this car is amazing like I mentioned, if you're trying to do drag races with friends on the streets, last but not least you can pure black your windows to make them look super fresh, but that's about it for customization for this car, it's raining right now, it's raining, it's pouring, either way, this car has some cool options that I definitely like, um, now most of the fun filled facts for this car, the trivia so to say, is for San Andreas, but there are some cool ones. The default station for GTA 5 is Channel X, and also in GTA 5, the blade's rear suspension is lowered due to the fact that it has a straight axle front end. Also the HD Universe blade seems to be modified for drag racing as indicated by its impressive acceleration and wide rear tires. So both. Two more reasons why this car is definitely great for drag racing, and uh, like I mentioned, I showed it in the beginning. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. You can also check out my other car guides down in the description below, a playlist of all of them. If you're new around here and you haven't read already, I definitely recommend subscribing for some more awesome daily GTA 5 and gaming tips, news, info, and more. You can follow my Twitter and like my Facebook. Those are down in the description. That's about it. And